Hi, welcome to another Mac 7 tutorial. This is number 36. Intro to Jitter. More than one way to fill a matrix. Let's get a new patcher up. I'm really into the new patcher thing these days. Um, after classes that just seem to never be able to get rid of the old patchers. I'm sure people hear me on that one. So today um, I want to go on a little bit more about um, matrices or the matrix object um, because it's really a foundational principle of jitter and so today we're going to try the um, the jit fill um, object so go ahead and you can actually just type j I believe and you get a jit object and then you can um, instead of normally we type in n and then you type in whatever you want. But if you just type a J, it fills in the JIT for you. So you get the, just type J, and then F-I-L-L, -L, there it is. And don't do anything with it, because we're going we're gonna to steal. That's what we're going to do. So highlight that object, option click on it. And here you see JIT fill doing almost exactly what we're going to be doing with it. Just to remove all mysteriousness, this object here is a multi-slider. So it's really a slider that just has lots of little bars in it. And I swear I'm going to change it when we get over to the other side. And what you're seeing is the output over here of that multi-slider in numbers. So this multi-slider has 256 separate sliders in it. And this is telling you what each of those sliders is set to. Here, I'll set them all to zero again. So now they're all set to zero, and then I can go up like this and set them all to 255. And you'll notice that this rectangle down here has gotten white. And now if I go down to zero, that rectangle gets black because there's only one dimension here. It's 256 by, by nothing. Um, so this is a 256 by nothing matrix. I guess it will stick a one in there all by itself. But today, what we are going to do is go up to this tab here, click on advanced, and now we see this stuff, unlock the patcher, highlight all of this stuff here, not the JIT fill name and not the offset. We're not going to use that. Just this stuff copy it, close it, don't save it, get rid of that JIT fill that you imported, uh, that you made there, and then just stick in the stuff you imported. And we'll move that, whoops, I missed one JIT fill thing here. So, uh, let's zoom a little bit, get this guy in the middle here, and let's take a look at what we have here. I'm going to lock my patcher. What we have is a JIT fill, you know, just for the sake of um, clarity, this says JIT fill bar 1, JIT fill bar 2, JIT fill bar 3, and then this matrix down here, JIT matrix, okay, we know what a matrix is, it's a, a place where you assign a big block of memory that's just the right size for what you want to do. Bar is just the name of this silly thing. So let's unlock this patcher and, oops, sorry, unlock it again. And let's give this thing a real name like Barb. There we go. Hi, Barb. So um, just because I want you to have, A, I want all of these to be individual and no way to do that like changing them all so but I want you to understand that the way these things all communicate is by name so well actually let's I'm gonna leave this one bar for a second okay and lock your patcher and you'll notice as you change these things here I have no idea why I'm getting such crummy resolution on my on my uh, sliders, but nothing's happening down here because this is still named bar. So let's unlock again, and now let's change that name to barb. 
which we have done, and now matrix barb is going to respond a little differently. Um, as soon as I clicked on that, it output all of its um, all of its color, and then green will just go this way. You notice as soon as you, I click on it, it just kind of goes to full green. And then here's blue, the same thing will happen. Click, boom, there's blue, suddenly. And uh, we'll make some shape in there. Okay, so what's happening is each one of these is putting out just 256 numbers in a row. They're being assigned to the matrix barb. And this is going to be on um, the plane count of one. Same thing, but on the plane count of two. Same thing, but on the plane count of three. Now, this is a little deceptive. You're like, well, how did this one end up being red, this one green, and this one blue? They just went and made them that color um, in the inspector, just the way you would if you were trying to like get somebody to say, hey, look, this is red, this is green, this is blue. But look, if we unlock this and change these around, make that one three and this one two, you'll see that the color of the multi-slider, these things up here, these are multi-sliders, doesn't have anything to do with the color that ends up down here. So I'm locking my patcher again, and red is red. If I take it down to zero, there's no red, and if I go all the way to the top, there's tons of red, right? But now this one should control blue, um, which it does, but of course a lot of uh, red and blue together makes magenta. So I'll take red down and you'll see that this one here is definitely blue and not green because this is all about blue now, right? And then we'll take this one down to the bottom and, whoops, I can't get those. Sometimes they're a little tricky. And then this one should now be um, only green and we see that that is the case. So it, what really matters here is what you put in for the plane number in the JIT fill object. I'm going to change this one back to two so it's not so darn confusing and this one back to three and finally I just want to um, uh, send one more thing home here um, First, I just thought we'd get some nice colors. I'd like to try, you know, different uh, routes here. Uh, maybe from the bottom. More times. Anyway, conceivably, you could draw this way, but I don't know. Okay, so this JIT matrix barb here with these four characters, um, with, uh, I'm sorry, four plane count uh, using uh, this kind of number, which is called a character number, which means 0 to 255, and it's making a 16 by 16 grid. It's accessing the matrix barb, and if we were to take this and duplicate it and move it over here, you'll find something very interesting well, both does and doesn't happen. So let's lock our patcher and move these around again and get something that we recognize as, you know, being completely new. There we go, new design over here. But this one didn't do anything, and I'm sure you all know why, but that's because nothing told it to output its matrix. So all we have to do is type letter B, and we get a button here, and stick it on that matrix, and lock it, and bingo. As soon as you hit it, it outputs the matrix barb. So barb is in here somewhere, somewhere in my computer. There's now a matrix named barb, and if I do something to change, um, you know, To change barb here, all I barb is changed here, but it won't be changed until I say, okay, access barb and output it. Boom. So there you go. I'm not quite
quite sure what you could use this for next time, but I think it helps you understand that matrices are matrices, matrices, darn it, are um, just a block of memory somewhere that you make to handle um, video, well, to handle a matrix essentially, but which you often use for video. So that's all I was getting at today, and now you can, uh, you know, draw to your heart, heart's content and uh, then do a copy of it over here if you like it. If you don't like it, keep it the way it was. All right, that's it for me. I will see you next week when we do more complicated projects. Thanks for watching. Take care.